Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about how to integrate AWS Cognito uh, to a React application. To start with, first we need uh, Amplify CLI and for this, the prerequisite is you need to have a AWS account. If you don't have a AWS account, I have created a video tutorial in which I have gone through how to create a free AWS account. With that being said, we will start with installing the AWS Amplify CLI. For this installation, you need Node.js, Node Package Manager, NPM need to be installed in your system. You need to enter the command npm install hyphen g alias aws hyphen amplify slash cli. Here hyphen g stands for installing this package globally. Once the aws amplify cli is installed globally, then you need to configure the amplify. So to configure amplify, enter the command amplify configure. Once you enter the amplify configure, it will take you to the AWS login page. Here you need to log in uh, the AWS console. I have already logged into my AWS console. So I am pressing enter in the console. Once you have logged in, you need to enter the region you want. In my case, I want to stick to US East one. That is the closest region from where I am living. And then you need to provide the username. Here in this case, you can stick with the default name, which is there in the parenthesis. I am providing my own username, which is amplify iPhone user. Once you have provided the username, it will take you to the IAM management console. Here, you need to select only the programmatic access and then click next, which will take us to the permissions page. Here in this page, we need to select administrator access amplify. Here you can create optional tags. Next, go to the add user page and then click create user. Now you will get a access key ID and then the secret access key. And this will be provided only once. If you close this screen, you will never able to get this access key ID and then access key. So make sure you are downloading this as a CSV. We need this information to configure the AWS Amplify CLI in your local. Now we enter to continue. Here you are prompted to enter the access key id enter the access key id copy this and right click this will paste the access key id and then you also need to enter the secret access key once you have entered the access key id and the secret access key it will ask you to enter a profile name so here in this case you can give any profile name as you wish so in my case i am just giving amplify user profile so now we are done with our aws Amplify CLI installation and then we have even configured that AWS Amplify to connect to our AWS account. Now we are good to start our React application where we can integrate the AWS Cognito through Amplify. So to create a skeleton React project, enter the command npx create react app followed by the project name React login AWS prebuild. Now we have created a skeleton project named React login AWS prebuild. So now we'll navigate inside this project and then open this in the Visual Studio code. So to open this in the Visual Studio code, enter the command code followed by period. So this will open this particular folder in the Visual Studio code. Now we have opened this in the Visual Studio code. Now we will do some cleanup activity. So go to the source directory and then remove the app test. We don't need any testing for now. So remove this and then uh, remove logo svg we don't need this as well and then we no need the app.css so delete this file as well and then remove report web vitals.js and set up tests.js and then go inside the index.js here delete this lines and then remove the strict mode you no need to keep this in the strict mode so remove the strict mode and then remove report web vitals. Now navigate to the app.js. So here in this case, you don't need this. So I'm just deleting the header section. So anyhow, we are gonna completely replace this file. Now we are done with our basic cleanup. Now we will make this application as an Amplify application. To make this application as an Amplify application, open a new terminal and enter the command Amplify init. So this will initialize this as an Amplify project. It will ask for a name. So I'm okay with the React login AWS prebuild. 
and then this is asking whether uh, the configurations are fine so i'm just clicking y here so this is asking whether you want to use the AWS profile or AWS access keys. I am okay with the AWS profile. I can use the AWS profile which I have created before AWS Amplify CLI. So this is the profile which I have created AWS user profile. So I am just clicking AWS user profile. This will take some time since it will deploy the complete stack. So you can able to see a new folder will get created Amplify folder and there all the Amplify code will be present. Here I will just give it as no. Now we have created a project fine to add authentication to our application. So there is a good AWS documentation, the link of which I will provide in the description. So this is the documentation. We need to enter the command Amplify add auth to add the authentication. So this will add the Cognito based authentication to our Amplify project. So here enter the command Amplify add auth for now i will just go with the default configuration but i will also go through the different configuration level in the series for now we will use the aws react pre-build ui so for that i am using default configuration so click default configuration so how do you want the users to be able to log sign in if you are selecting username that means you need to provide the username a unique username and then password while logging in if you are providing email that means you need to be providing an email which is a valid and then the password when you are logging in here i'm gonna use email to sign in so i'm selecting email in your case you can use anything as you wish you don't need any additional changes because we are gonna use only the aws pre-built ui so in this case select no i am done now we have added the authentication Go back to the documentation you can able to see you need to enter the command amplify push so if you enter amplify push this all information will go to your aws account so before doing this i will show you how my aws cognito service looks like in my aws account search cognito here you can able to see there is no user pool for now so just enter the command amplify push this will create all the necessary services. So it is asking whether I am fine creating this resources. So enter Y. And once this is done, you can able to see the user pool got created. Now we have created the resources in the AWS account. You can able to see a new user pool got created. This is the user pool. If there is no users found, we haven't created any users. So this is the user pool which got created by the Amplify. Now go back to the link here you can able to find the code now just replace this code in the app.js have copied this code go back to app and then paste this here so now you need to install the aws pre-built ui react so to install the aws pre-built ui react enter the command npm install aws amplify aws iphone amplify slash ui react copy this command and paste it here this will install so here you need to make sure you are installing this dependency if you are going to use the pre-built AWS provided login and the signup page. If you don't want to use the AWS provided login and the signup page, then you no need to use this particular dependency. You are fine only installing the AWS Amplify. So here we are adding two different dependencies. One is AWS Amplify and then the next one is pre-built UI React. Now we will go through this code. Here we are using the with authenticator higher order component. There we are passing in our app component. So this is our app component here. This app component takes two different params. One is sign out and then the next one is user. So here you will get the sign out and then the user from the higher order component. So here this app component will be wrapped inside the with authenticator. So whenever your application loads, First, you will get the login page or the sign up page. And then once you have successfully logged in, then you can able to access the app. So now you also have access to the sign out function with which you can sign out. And then you also have access to the user object with which you can able to use the user details. Now we have installed the AWS Amplify and then the AWS Amplify pre-built UI. Now we can start this application. To start this react application enter the command npm start. This will start 
the application the port 3000 now the application is successfully loaded you can able to see the sign in under the create account uh, this is coming from the aws amplify ui react dependency so we haven't coded any of the css or html so these are all the pre-built aws components with authenticator higher order component starts the login screen and the sign up screen we will create a new user so for now we can able to see no users are there in our cognito user pool now i will use the fake email because we will be also sending our code to the fake email i will copy this user email and then uh, i will enter the password so now we have entered the password click create account we have created the account this navigates us to a different page where you need to enter the auth code we got the auth code open this copy this and paste it here confirm now we can able to see the app.js here so now if you modify something like welcome here in this case so we can able to see that in our app.js so if i refresh this i can able to see welcome and then the session will be persisted here so in this case if i open this in a separate tab also i can able to see welcome page rather than starting with the login and uh, go to the application here you can able to see a new local storage so this is what the aws cognito uses so here you have access to your access token refresh token so this is how you are maintaining your session in your browser so whenever there is a new request it will be always taking the access token and if the access token is uh, expired then you will be sending the refresh token and if the refresh token is valid then you will be provided a new access token and then you can able to uh, use that particular access token as long as that is valid so now we will click sign out this will sign out the user so now you can able to see everything gone so that means no details are there so if you refresh again you are again prompted to the login screen not to the home page that is because you don't have any information in your local storage now you can log in with the user which we have created email and then enter the password which you used to create and then click sign in by this way we can be able to sign up and sign in with the aws pre-built react ui now go back to your cognito service you can be able to see a new user got created so this is the username and then you can able to see all the informations here whether the user is verified or not all this information we can able to see from this cognito service thanks for watching this video subscribe to this channel if you like to see more technical content